this. <laughs> SB59V. It is a single cut, mahogany bodied, card maple top, mahogany necked Les Paul style guitar and it's an absolute beast. The body is a single piece of mahogany, you've got a single piece of mahogany neck, obviously it's glued in like you'd expect a Les Paul style guitar to be. The fingerboard is ebony, you've got a two piece maple top with a flame on it, the truss rod cover is ebony. The bridge is goto, and you've got a slightly aged, lightweight aluminium tailpiece. You've got an ABR one style bridge, which is, you can, well, you can't see there, but it's drilled directly into the body. You've got a Switchcraft switch, which is great quality. CTS 500K pots, two volume, two tone, as you'd expect. Um, pickups are Duncan Antiquities which are like £300 plus if you want to buy a new set £250 on eBay for a second hand set they sound great um, and it is an absolute monster of a guitar a CTS Jack, uh, no, Switchcraft Jack as well um, it's really lightweight and it's, you know, and it's made in China now this is no Chibson okay? when that video came out about uh, play authentic and all that rubbish um, I was wondering what what they were on about when when he, Mark Agnesi says you know you can't just chop the ends off and get away with your copyright so I was like what's he talking about so I was looking for, for a guitar like that and I found this and this had been reviewed a couple of years ago and I, I must have walked past these at guitar shows and stuff like that and not even paid attention to them but I read these reviews and I thought I've got to see one of these in the flesh so I found a shop near me that had one and I tried it out and it was a fantastic guitar. The only problem is, one, you've got to find one if you want to buy a new one, and two, you're going to take about a five, six hundred pound hit. Um, so we kept our eyes out for a second hand one. We got this one for about fourteen hundred. 
and it's 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 decent. It's handmade Les Paul style guitar, and you can tell it's been made properly. The materials that it's made with, the wood, everything is brilliant. The finish is amazing. This varnish finish is absolutely fantastic. Um, the you know the relicking on it is good. It's nice and subtle. So you've got all this bit up here. You've got all these like tiny little cracks and dents in it here. You've got a bit of relic in here, and if you flip it over, you've got some on the back here and some here. Obviously, if it was a really old guitar, this would all be flaked off, like some of my other Les Pauls are. This is kind of worn down here as well. It feels great, it plays great, and when I played the other one, the neck was a little bit different, so you can tell it's not like a, a you know, a, a manufactured neck. It's not been just on a, on a, you know, been machined and then put on a, you know, it's not been machined and put in, put out in a way that it's just been like manufacture, manufacture, manufacture. This is a great, great, great hand-built guitar.